Well, folks, welcome back to Pencil Tucky Adventures. And I think you can tell by the background noise. It's turkey season here in PA. Spring Ripper is tomorrow, April 29th. Getting a little practice in prep for tomorrow. Ooh, hear that gobble? <laughs> well, I think it's going to be a good video <laughs> here. Thank you all for tuning back into the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be a fun old time here. I hope you all excited for the show. Stick along for the ride, sit back, grab your favorite beverage and your snack, and wish us luck tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be back, come back with a big one. So, stay along for the ride here. Thanks. First turkey camp meal on the griddle is chicken fried rice. So, stay tuned for the rest of the meal here. Sang stir fro. Or a lot, whatever. You just go with it. You got a couple of things laid over down there. I realize that. What? Oh, that one fell this year. There's a gum tree. Did you say blooming or down? Huh? You said blooming or down? Down. Like, later. Finished product. In honor of your first pheasant hunt, most youth hunters get a pet. First pheasant hunt? That wasn't my first pheasant hunt. Well, but in your first pheasant up kill up here, most pheasant hunters get a patch from their father. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a Thanks, pheasant patch from your Appreciate dad. it. <laughs> We're just sorry your mom couldn't be here. We're all you sorry go. your mom couldn't be here. First pheasant patch. 
<laughs> Did Bobby. you get one too? I've had pheasant. Last year? You had yours first one last year. My father wasn't here to give me one. <laughs> Too shy. It's not every day your father gets to take you hunting. Actually, every time I've been hunting lately. <laughs> Cheers to good luck and good fortune tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Can't kill him from the recliner. That's right. Can't kill him from the recliner. I thought you had two fans It's better. You're pinching off a shit. And look at your eyes. Roll back in his head. No current. Well, Black Cloud looks like he's ready to go hunting. Just following in the generation. I did not think of that when you were sleeping. This is what we do. Just following in the generational footsteps. Generational footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to hit the turkey woods. Let's get at her, boys. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. It's what we do. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Morning, folks. Welcome to the PA Spring Turkey Woods. Um, we're out here this morning. We got Black Cloud, Bobby, Butcher, Baby Yoda, and myself. Um, spread out here trying to see what we can get working this morning. Um, fairly quiet. Um, the rain got out of here in our area this morning early. Um, but it's a little foggy and a little damp. So, pretty sure the birds are still in the roost. Haven't we heard one gobble based off of three shots this morning, way off in the distance. But, um, yeah. So, we'll see how the day goes. Wish us luck and stay tuned for hopefully a big bird down. Well, folks, that wraps up day number one of our Pennsylvania spring turkey season here in 2023. Um, it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Uh, we had um, the other uh, Black Cloud, Bobby, Butcher, and Baby Yoda. They all got a couple yo or um, not yodels, <laughs> a couple gobbles this morning. They heard a few going off. Um, I did not hear any today. Saw three deer. I think Baby Yoda said she saw 10. I don't know what um, Bobby saw one. Uh, we were grouped around like mid morning and tried to figure something else out. And we were coming back to the 
towards the camps and coming up with a different plan and um, actually kicked the turkey out. I saw one run across the field and I kicked it. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a hen. I didn't see any beard on it when she was running back, but with it, so you can see, this is not normal for the first day of spring turkey to be this green. So, our wonderful PA weather here, you get 90 degree days, we had 90 degree days, and then we had 50 degree days, and then we had 90 degree days, and we had 30 degree days, and it was a very mild winter, so early spring up, so helps the animals get some browse in them sooner, um, but yeah, that's how day one went, and um, it's 11.55, so I'm going to wrap it up here today, get back to camp, and get in some shenanigans here for the rest of the day, I think we're having meatloaf for dinner tonight, um, do a little video of that and probably can't hunt tomorrow so I guess it's party time tonight so stick around for the festivities tonight catch you later <laughs> that was perfect because now no, you know how it? fucking flinchy you are that's perfect that was good for the video <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking edit that out. Nope. <laughs> well, what, what we got here, butcher? We got meatloaf, gravy, corn, mashed potatoes. Nice rolls. taters and rolls. Looks like a damn good meal to me. I'm excited. Watching turkey hunt and actually see someone kill something since we can't kill one in person. I wonder if this guy will flinch. That's so funny. supposed to rain a good bit tomorrow so we're just cleaning up around camp maybe plant some grass seeds he feels like this is the only way he can get a turkey We seed the lawn, quote unquote, sprinkling a turkey bait all over just to grow grass. Wink, wink. Uh, smoke is combustible. So we'll demonstrate that here once it gets going a little bit. Dumb ways to die. That'd be a good TikTok. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. How hot is that in there now? It's getting toasty. I got your I got the fire gloves in the shed. Well, this is how Bobby cooks hamburgers. Two and a half pounds of meat. Just slap it right on the griddle. What are we cooking, Bobby? Spaghetti. Spaghetti on the griddle? Fuck you. Mm. Since someone was being a little pissy pants, we couldn't record the meal. Secret recipe. We got Caesar. Caesar. Sketty. That was the secret recipe with the bag of Caesar that he bought in Tulsa. <laughs> the Caesar, all the Caesar dressing. He made it made himself. <laughs> And 
And Mrs. is heading on out. She's got tired of our shenanigans. Mm -hmm. She's got tired of playing foosball. Fireworks shopping. All right, folks. Day two of spring gobbler season. Let's get at her. Pitter patter. Bobby's locked and loaded. Let's go do it. Not really locked and loaded, but you know what you mean. Let's go do it. <laughs> Let's get this shit done. All right, catch you out on the road. That's about how quiet it is in the woods, too. Um, strange morning here. It's one thing you love about turkey hunting, there two days are the same. Well, we came back in the same area that the crew heard them on Saturday. And, um, nothing. Heard one far off faint gobble, but that's about it. There was a pack of coyotes in the area this morning where we were, where we were sitting. So I don't know if that shut them up, but they have dogs in. Besides Mr. Crow. Bear. So I guess we're in for a long one today.
over here spot number two. First one got spot first number two spot got bumped out. The game commission or DCNR decided to plant some erosion control and wildlife habitat, so closed the road so we had to loop around, come to the other angle. So plan C. Pitter patter, let's get at her. How do you want to do this? Just fuck it. Just kill turkey. Sounds good to me. I can fuck it, you know. <laughs> Just go. Just go <laughs> up up to the top of the ridge. Kill turkey. Fuck it. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Good weather, folks. Two weeks ago, it was about 90 degrees out. And today, May 1st, it is sleeting on us. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't think you can pick it up on the camera, but can you hear it? See if you can see it bouncing off of me. But yep, it's sleeting, folks. <laughs> Nuts. Crazy weather. All right, folks, back here at the camp. Uh, it's afternoon, getting ready to go down to Black Clouds for dinner. Show you that, but uh, I don't think I did a wrap up of the day. Uh, we switched out, went over to, when we went over that second spot. Uh, no calls, no, didn't really see any sign where we saw last year. We didn't look as hard. We only had about an hour because they closed the road, as I said there, so. Um, you know, we got in the back way, just checked around a little bit, didn't really see anything, and came back to camp. And uh, me and Black Cloud, we worked on, built these things called, well, we're, I'm calling them bird cages. I don't know if you really see them, so we have some blueberry bushes here planted at camp. And um, the birds have been destroying them. I already had to replace this one, and then that one over there is doing semi all right this one over here is all right but it's a different variety and those two were um i got a third variety so we're trying it out just want to get the blueberry bushes established and try to keep the birds away so we built these bird cages for them so me and black cloud worked on that this afternoon went in there took a little bit of nap <laughs> you see i got the wool jacket on it some <laughs> it's a little chilly was not expecting to get this cold it's supposed to get down in the low 30s tonight and only 40 ish tomorrow, so had to get the wool bag out. Keep us warm. Arm crack, smell like your butt crack. Makeup combines the best of nature with the best of science to formulate a <coughs> kick. 
that neutralizes odor causing bacteria for long lasting odor protection. It's all the horse power without the horse play. Listen, I gallop all day through these dense ass woods. And if it works for these horse pits, it'll work for you. Click this link to smell for yourself. <coughs> Glad you asked. There you are. Um, day three of Spring Gobbler here. Heading out to where we were yesterday. I'm calling for rain here for the next hour or so. I'm going to sit in the blind and then um, hopefully hear some gobbles on like we did yesterday and make a move from there to sit and see how things go. I'm not hunting the whole till noon today. Um, I got to head home, so I'm going to come back here so I can get things cleaned up and everything. So, uh, catch you out in the blind here this morning. It's not raining like we thought we would. So me and Black Cloud are making a move here to circle the birds down here. They're all hanging down low because of the wind of last night. It's right inside the roof, so making a move here. Wish us luck. Sometimes there's no words besides the word damn. Missed. So, hope you all enjoyed him strutting there and falling that head around and that's all you're getting of him. No turkey. Unless you got a magic wand, I can wave it and it pops up in front of me. I can't even find a freaking shell, dude. Did you see him? I don't even have like a memento that I've screwed up. <laughs> you have it sticking out the bottom? I don't know where I had it. Which side of the tree were you shooting? Both. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I missed twice. Second one was one of those Hail Marys. See if I could just hit her, hit him when he was flying away. But that's how it goes. That's why I call it hunting. If I want to take the easy way, I'll just go to the grocery store and buy a turkey. <laughs> Whole hell of a lot cheaper that way. <laughs> and wet and drier. That's why I'm sitting in the blind. So. Alright, well, we'll figure out a game plan here and see if we can do the rest of the day, but I'll say it again. Damn. Well, good thing is I'm coming back up next week. So, a couple more vacation days. So, catch you in a bit, let you know what we're deciding to do here for the day. Well, folks, that, um, can't see me. Well, folks, that wraps up, uh, turkey camp week number one. Ends in a little bit of a heartbreak and disappointment in myself. So... Hey, it happens all of us. We can't hit them all, which is understandable. I'm okay with what it. I'll be all right. I just get frustrated. I hate messing. So does everyone else, and I just beat myself up. But live and learn. Gun tried to push it to 50 and just couldn't do it. 50. It was my dad's gun. Um, came back to camp, tried to shoot it, and found out it opens up too far at 50. Um, I thought we shot it, patterned it at 50, but apparently not. Um, so I went and grabbed my gun, my trusty old Stoger, my first gun I ever bought. The one I've got my first Jake with and my first Gobbler. And um, pattern that one at 40 and 50 and I'm confident with that thing at 40 and 50. It has a decent enough pattern that you can get it out there to 40 and 50. Um, could be a little tighter but I think it'll do. So that gives me some a little bit of confidence back. That gun that's been my tried and true gun since I bought it. Um, won some clay competitions with it and just a great shooter so alright well I'm on the camps road heading out here and well folks as always this is what we do hope you enjoyed the show turkey camp week number one if you did like give us a thumbs up down below give us comments um, also let us know if you didn't like it and what you didn't like about it things you want us to do to improve um, hoping to bring good content to you all just that's what we're here for it's here for you all and for us to live, relive our memories so um, check in out next week for week number two of turkey camp and I'll catch you then be safe and get outdoors and catch y'all later <laughs>